I'm Devin Dixon with Double D Industries, and we're going to show you a video on how to properly cape your deer for a shorter hunt. All right, so we just skinned it down like you normally would, and then now we're about to split the legs up. Now, notice this is how you're supposed to gut your deer. You stop right at the rib cage. Do not extend the gutting incision any further than where the ribs meet. If you cut up into here, your taxidermist is going to charge you extra because it's additional sew. So, now we're going to split these legs and what we want to do is follow this white line where the brown and the white hair meets all the way up its elbow, up its armpit, and then we're going to meet where you stop gutting it, okay? All right, so you can see we took these, this incision straight up its legs where the white and the brown hair meets, all the way up its elbow into its armpit, and then went straight over to the ribs where the ribs meet the abdomen where you stop gutting your, um, you stop gutting your deer. cut your legs off so they're not in your way. And now you can just now you can just skin it down just like you normally would, but all of your major incision, incisions have been made. Be careful when you're skinning this brisket. If you're not careful, you'll slice the, the hide. Just because there's a lot of fat down here and it looks like the skin, you can't really tell. Once you get down to the neck, past the shoulders, you really need to take your time. It's gonna take you a little while, but you just need to make sure that you're not gonna put any cuts in this hide. Otherwise, the taxidermist is gonna have extra work and he possibly will charge you extra.
All right, now that it's all said and done, you can see we have four or five inches of neck meat left on this hide still. So we can get some accurate neck measurements and uh, ready to go to the taxidermist. Good luck hunting guys. Stay tuned in.